supplementing 2 micrograms of this vitamin resulted in a reduction in proteinuria levels of 34% in just 24 hours! Ziggy patients were able to keep the improved levels for the entire duration of the study. Gathering here, if there is one thing that can make all the difference between ending up in dialysis and reversing kidney disease, it's proteinuria levels. Having unusually high levels of protein in the urine means your kidney function is going to get worse, fast. On the other hand, there is a vitamin that can lower your proteinuria levels naturally, protecting and improving the health of your kidneys. This is why today I want to focus on the most important vitamin there is for the health of the kidneys. Getting the levels of this vitamin back in balance means delaying dialysis by decades in some cases. This is vitamin D. We know today vitamin D is more important for kidney health than we ever imagined. The rate of low vitamin D levels in people with kidney problems is incredibly high. About 90% of kidney patients have low levels of this key vitamin. And that's the problem. Vitamin D supports normal kidney function but also immune function, respiratory function, bone health and more. Deficiencies are however extremely common. The kidney is the organ supposed to convert vitamin D into the active form. And while vitamin D supplements can help, this vitamin comes with a warning. When supplemented alone, vitamin D may cause calcium to accumulate in the arteries. Absolutely not something you want. But if you supplement this vitamin in combination with one key mineral and one supporting vitamin, it can change your life. Because now you will feel more energized during the whole day and all the extra calcium this vitamin is letting your body use will go straight to your bones and not your arteries. This is how you repair your kidneys. Today we are going to see exactly how to do this. Question: What happens to the kidneys when vitamin D levels get back to normal? Vitamin D directly protects the kidneys. It reduces inflammation, fibrosis, and it helps balance calcium and phosphorus. This happens because a lack of vitamin D causes an inappropriate activation of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. And that's bad. It directly causes kidney and heart damage and high blood pressure. You may have heard about the renin angiotensin aldosterone system because that's what you are going to modulate when taking an ACE inhibitor or an ARB. These are the most common blood pressure medications prescribed to those with CKD and they are all act on a renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Vitamin D does the same but in a natural way. That's how it protects you from proteinuria. And this also means that when vitamin D levels are low, medications such as ACE inhibitors and ARBs don't work as they should and kidney damage occurs. This is why it is even more important to make sure vitamin D levels are correct if you are taking a blood pressure medication. So now you may ask, how can I tell if my vitamin D levels are low? Fatigue, joint, bone, back, and muscle pain, but also hair loss are very common. Symptoms of a lack of vitamin D. Vitamin D is also needed by the immune system, so regular sickness or infection and impaired wound healing are listed as symptoms, but also low mood and in some cases depression. Now, if vitamin D levels drop too much and there's a real deficiency, cardiovascular conditions, autoimmune problems, neurological diseases can happen. And while these are not common, usually patients are treated for a vitamin D deficiency when they have a history of fractures. Now guys, kidney disease itself is a risk factor for vitamin D deficiency, so don't wait until something breaks. My advice here is to do regular blood analysis to assess vitamin D deficiency if you have kidney disease. Question, is it possible to improve vitamin D levels with a diet? Eating foods rich in vitamin D is not easy for people with kidney problems. There are a few food options that we may consider. Milk and cheese are good sources of vitamin D, but they are usually forbidden in a renal diet for their phosphorus content. Fish, including salmon, herring, sardines, but also eggs are good sources too. 
These foods are, however, usually forbidden in a renal diet due to the protein content. They may be good for people on dialysis and for those in the early stages of CKD though. Now, one food that you can actually eat that is rich in vitamin D is shiitake mushrooms. My advice here is to find shiitake mushrooms that have been sun dried. These mushrooms directly absorb vitamin D from the sun just like our skin does. Should you supplement vitamin D if you have kidney disease? Since it's very hard to get enough vitamin D from the diet, it's usually recommended to all kidney disease patients to supplement between 600 IU and 2000 IU daily of vitamin D3. Doing blood analysis to check for vitamin D levels will help your doctor giving you the perfect dose, but it's very unusual that CKD patients do not need vitamin D. So consider a supplement in any case. Is supplementing vitamin D alone safe? Vitamin D in the doses recommended to most CKD patients should not be supplemented alone. Magnesium and even more important, vitamin K2 are needed for it to be safe and effective. Magnesium is needed for the metabolism of vitamin D. This mineral may be depleted when supplementing vitamin D, causing high blood pressure. According to recent studies, taking 300 to 400 mg daily of magnesium oxide is the best way of keeping this mineral in the correct range. But while you should always take vitamin D in the morning, I recommend to supplement magnesium in the evening though, since it helps you sleep. Now guys, magnesium is not something we should underestimate. Keeping this level in the correct range can make a huge difference for someone with kidney problems. This is why I talk more in depth about it in my video up here. And also never supplement vitamin D without vitamin K2. Vitamin D transports dietary calcium throughout your body. Vitamin K2 helps make sure the calcium ends up where it belongs, absorbed by your bones. Which vitamin D supplement should you take? There are many supplements available on the market, but not many of them are made with the needs of those with kidney problems in mind. On my website, newhopeforkidneypatients.com, you can find the only multivitamin supplement made from a kidney patient for kidney patients. Robert, the owner of this brand, is a kidney disease patient and an internationally known kidney health expert. He has helped thousands of people taking better care of their kidneys thanks to products like this one. This is why Kidney D also comes with vitamin K2 in the right dose, which is crucial when taking vitamin D. Check video description for more info about this. And as usual, consult your doctor if you plan to start supplementing any vitamin or if you believe you need to change your doses. This is especially important because in some cases, supplementing vitamin D is not enough to get serum levels back to normal. What if supplementing vitamin D3 is not enough? For some patients, unfortunately, regular vitamin D3 supplements are not enough, not even those made with high standards and with the appropriate dose. This happens because the kidneys are the organ responsible for turning vitamin D into its active form needed by the body, and in certain cases, especially in patients in the advanced stages, the kidneys cannot activate enough vitamin D. Now, if this is your case, don't worry. Today, there are already activated forms of vitamin D available that your doctor can prescribe to you. I'm not talking about vitamin D3. I'm talking about medications called vitamin D analogs. These include calcitriol, paracalcitol, calcifediol, and more. The correct type of vitamin D analog depends on your serum levels and on your thyroid hormone levels. Blood analysis are required for your doctor to make the right prescription if you need a vitamin D analog. Remember that correcting this very common deficiency is key to improve kidney health. Now guys, today we have seen how to fight proteinuria with vitamin D. And if you want to know more about the vitamins that can really make a difference with kidney health, please watch my video up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless.